Today we're going to take a look at some lost arm wrestling footage that you probably have never seen before. Footage of Denis Saplinkov getting absolutely destroyed. And this was a right-handed match. This is probably Denis' worst loss of his entire career. However, the vast majority of arm wrestling fans have never seen it. I've personally never seen Dennis getting run through so easily before seeing this footage. And this footage is from the A1 Russian Open against none other than Andre Pushkar. Andre Pushkar? But Dennis always beat Andre, right? Well, normally, yes. Historically, Dennis pretty much always came out on top over Andre. But one day, which was probably the very best day of Andre's career, things were different. This video will tell the story of what is probably Dennis's worst loss ever, resulting in Andre Pushkar becoming the number one arm wrestler on the planet. First, we need to explain the relationship between Dennis and Andre. The relationship that led to years of built-up aggression and emotion finally being released in one moment. Basically, if there was no Denis Saplinkov, Andre would have been the guy for all those years. I can't count how many disappointing second place finishes Andre Pushkar had, always stuck in Denis's shadow. And this started all the way back in 2006 on the left arm. Even at the very beginning of Andre's career, he just couldn't quite defeat Dennis. Dennis was always just a little bit too strong. Andre probably had the better technique, and to be honest, it looked like he always wanted to win more than Dennis. But still, his heart just wasn't enough to overcome the mountain of muscle that was Dennis Saplinkov. Later in 2010, Andre got a glimmer of hope. We saw him flash pin Dennis outside of straps, but unfortunately for Andre, it would stay at a glimmer. In the next round, Dennis slips and goes to straps. Inside of straps, even with abysmal technique, Dennis stops Andre just above the pad and slowly grinds the match back to center. Andre's bicep gets slowly stretched out and Dennis's power and endurance is too much. Even all the way back in 2010, Dennis was too strong for Andre. And in the coming years, Dennis would only become stronger and stronger every single year. Again in 2012, Dennis is able to defeat Andre pretty convincingly. He is beginning to use more of an outside move and has better technique in general and is now even stronger than he used to be. Andre's chances of winning a super match against Dennis are continuing to dwindle. Later on in 2014, Dennis and Andre would face again but this time was different. Devin Lerritt had been the number one arm wrestler for years in the past, but in 2013, the number one ranking was passed on to Dennis. This is because Devin had major elbow surgeries and he was busy recovering. He ended up having over a year of inactivity in the sport, meaning that he forfeited his ranking. So now, Andre had all the motivation in the world. Every other loss up until this moment didn't matter. Even though it was for first place in the tournament, it was still only for second place in the world. This time, the match was for the globally recognized number one rank. The arm wrestler who can beat anyone in the world. Andre put everything he had into this match. He wound up his legendary side pressure hit and fired as hard as he could with no hesitation. But once again, Dennis was just too strong. Andre's positioning in this match often looked advantageous, but he just couldn't pin Dennis. Not only did Andre lose, but he failed to get a single pin. And Dennis was continuing to get stronger every year as well as improving his technique even further. At this point in Andre's career, it was really starting to look like he may never be able to get a win over Dennis. And this would of course mean that Andre would never touch that number one rank in the world. For Andre, anything other than the number one spot was not enough. What is even the point if you can't be the best? Things were not looking good for Andre. But then, the 2014 A1 Russian Open took place. This is the tournament that changed everything. The very best athletes on the entire planet were at this tournament. John Brzezink, Dave Chafee, Andre Pushkar, Denis Saplinkov, and many more. In this tournament, we see Andre Pushkar go up against John Brzezink. This was going to be an indicator of where Andre's level was at. If Andre is close with John, that probably eliminates any chances he has in this tournament. But this was not the case. We see utter dominance from Andre. Easy flash pins, total hand control, and just way too much side pressure. This is one of the few moments in John Brzezink's career where he looks totally clueless. John pretty much always has a technical change he can make to potentially reverse a match. But you can see it in John's face that it didn't matter in this case. John knew what he just felt, and what he just felt was way too much power for technique to even be a factor. Andre moves on in the bracket and John will have to climb back to the top. 
on the other side of the bracket, Dennis will go up against Dave Chafee, and this is where we get to see the famous war between these two guys. In this match, we see Dennis using his traditional low grip and Dave with monstrous side pressure. This match is a total grinder, but Dennis's bicep is just a little too much for Dave to handle. Eventually, Dennis is able to claw the match back to his side of the table and finish with side pressure. And for some reason, for a long time, this was the last match you could find in this tournament on YouTube. But this match between Dennis and Dave is only the semi-finals of the tournament. Now, we will take a look at the finals of the A1 Russian Open. I apologize for the grainy footage, but this is the only footage I was able to find. Odds are, you've never seen these matches before. This was yet another chance for Andre. Not only a chance for him to finally defeat the biggest rival in his career, but a chance for him to become the undisputed number one arm wrestler in the world. The first ready go happens out of straps, and we see probably the most violent flash pin Dennis has ever been the recipient of. Amazing round from Andre, but this tournament was by no means over. I can only imagine the flashbacks of 2010 Andre could have been experiencing. The last time Andre flashpinned Dennis in the first round, he still ended up losing the entire super match. Andre was so close to that number one rank, yet still so far away. But this time, Andre was determined that history would not repeat itself. This time would be different, and in the next start, we see the exact same thing. Easy flashpin for Andre. Complete dominance. But Andre still needed one more win to make it official. One more win to be the number one puller on the planet. And there was still one more major obstacle in the way. And that obstacle was the strap. Historically, Andre has done far worse inside of straps against Dennis. There was still a chance that Dennis would stop Andre inside of straps and gas him out just like he had done for years and years. Andre loads up all the power he can generate, clearly demonstrated by the desire for revenge in his eyes. The go happens, and once again, Andre drives Dennis to the pad in the blink of an eye. Andre Pushkar was now the number one arm wrestler on the planet, and he defeated his arch rival of over 10 years to get there. And this third and final pin, in my opinion, is the worst loss Dennis has ever taken. The first two pins from Andre were very impressive, but Dennis has been flash pinned outside of straps before. Dennis is historically much better inside of straps. Pinning him without straps is one thing, but pinning him in straps is the real test. And Andre Pushkar was able to do both in the same tournament. I can't think of a single other moment in the history of arm wrestling when Dennis was flash pinned so violently inside of straps, at least not in the later part of his career. Now, was Dennis a bit tired after pulling Dave? Probably. Did he get an unlucky bracket? Probably. But at that point in arm wrestling's history, that was just part of the sport. You can't take anything away from Andre Pushkar. Let me know in the comments if you agree that this is the most decisive loss Dennis has ever taken. Props to the legend Andre Pushkar for doing what no one else has done. And props to Dennis Saplinkov for taking this loss on the chin and coming back better and stronger than before.